Hey guys, so today it's all about digestion and uh, also it's a lot, you need to know it all. So the way to know it all is really to draw it. I cannot emphasize enough that drawing is the way you would remember things in this class. So one way to do it is to draw the whole thing as you remember it from after looking at your PowerPoint and learning it. Then without notes you draw it as much as you know then when you feel like you've done as much as you could, put a timer on it, a minute or two, and then you go back to your PowerPoint, fill in your drawings with the right filling part that you missed, correct the mistakes you made, then put it away, wait an hour, and do it again. From memory, every time you draw, you do it from memory, and then you fill in with your notes. But it's important that you need to reach a point at which you can literally draw the whole digestion process from nucleus to exporting uh, proteins outside for digestion. In the case of a PowerPoint, it's the milk production, so to the milk duct, so we're going to use that example here. But digestion, milk production, all the protein production exportation. You need to be able to do it. So, let's start. You start in your cell, and you have your nucleosome that's right there in the nucleus. The nucleus, notice how there are some pores, a nuclear pore. Uh, those nuclear pores allow R mRNA to live, but not DNA. DNA is too big. So if you think of your proteins, uh, your molecules of DNA, they are double-stranded. Right? And that is... You, you need to know those terms later, because you will actually work with those terms later when we turn, learn exactly that process. But that DNA is transcribed. Transcribed, that's the blue arrow. Transcription. I was bugging on that term, the spelling of the transcription thing. Into mRNA for messenger RNA. That's transcription. The messenger RNA is capable of leaving the nucleus by the nuclear pore. If you want to be extremely fancy in your drawing, you can make it double bounded, like phospholipid bilayer, remember? So you can make your nucleus accurate. The scale will not be accurate. Notice how uh, the nucleus and the rough endoplasmic reticulum are linked. So it means that the nuclear envelope is then seemingly, seamlessly bound to the rough endoplasmic reticulum and we can make another one down there as well so you can get like really fancy and during the whole thing you can also like get a little bit different and do things differently the key being there is a continuum between those two and the RNA, the mRNA, is entering the rough endoplasmic reticulum. It's called the rough endoplasmic reticulum because it has ribosomes on it. Although ribosomes are also found floating in the cytoplasm, not only on the ribos on the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So that would be the R endoplasmic reticulum, R E R. Your mRNA is then processed. So let's make it there on a ribosome. So that mRNA will go through a process of translation, which translates the information of mRNA into a protein. And that protein is a sequence of amino acid, right? And as of now, that protein is only simple primary structure, right? In the rough endoplasmic reticulum, that protein will get folded and get its structures made, and that will really make it in its terminal structure, quaternary if it's a mono, uh, polypeptide, or only tertiary if it's a monopeptide. The next part is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. This one is separated in a bunch of vesicles. That's the smooth S 
ER, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, smooth because there is no uh, ribosomes on the surface. That smooth endoplasmic reticulum helps carrying those proteins and lipids in towards the Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus being that weirdly shaped uh, organ. That's a bunch of layers like that. That's all about center of triage. And so those vesicles will then merge by endocytosis uh, into the Golgi apparatus and transport now the proteins that are all folded and the lipids into, because it's, remember, we are making milk, so the lipids are also here, and transport all that towards the outside of the cell, which would be the age here of thy board, and that would be an exocytosis process here to make a new vesicle that will, by exocytosis, exit the cell and enter the milk duct. So really, all that like you see how I drew that, it's not pretty. It doesn't need to be pretty like the PowerPoint. It just needs to, you need to have all of those steps in your head. Start from the DNA, transcription into mRNA. mRNA is carrying the rough endoplasmic reticulum for translation at the ribosome site. The ribosome site produces the protein by translation of the mRNA. Then that protein is packed through the smooth endoplasmic reticulum with lipids towards the Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus that will triage the proteins and lipids into a vesicle toward, for exit of the cell towards the membrane of the cell and via exocytosis that vesicle will release the protein and lipids in the milk duct. And you have it from DNA to milk. And you need to be able to do that on your own. It's not, when you break it down like that, it's not that complicated. You can start by writing just the words. You don't have to draw the whole steps. You can write the words, DNA, mRNA, uh, ribosome, protein, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi. And you can learn that, but if you draw it, you understand how things flow with each other. So really, that's it. Work on that. Make sure you understand that full process and you can draw it or you can explain it in words. Here you go, that's all for now. Take care.